we try to understand at a molecular level what it is that makes cells move, how they do it, and what makes them stop. Because if we could enhance cell movement, we could improve wound healing, and we could um, possibly uh, improve uh, the functioning of the immune system. And if we could inhibit cell movement, if we just knew exactly how to do it, we could prevent those tumor cells from metastasizing. We figured out a way of how to control where cells go with a laser so we can steer them with light. And that um, was really exciting because we'd like to be able to, um, as I said, control where cells go and when they move and so on. And so we have to actually artificially engineer the cells with a protein that has borrowed the property that plants have. You know how plants bend toward light? Well, they bend toward light because they have proteins that sense light and then make the plant move. And so we took that plant protein um, and we put it into animal cells attached it to another protein that we knew promotes movement. And that allowed us to now steer cells within a tissue. And so we're hoping to be able to use that. For example, we can take stem cells, we can put this light sensing protein in the, in the stem cells and now suspend them in a three-dimensional matrix and we can use lasers to steer the stem cells. So you could imagine, let's say that some you wanted to regenerate tissue in a place where you wouldn't want to inject the cell, let's say in your eye. So you could put the cell in one place and then use light to steer the cells where you wanted them to go and regenerate your tissue. So we're, you know, that's sort of how you can go from just this basic curiosity and interest in how cells move to potentially something useful.